Today we're exploring Nagasaki, Japan, specifically the food. I honestly did not expect to enjoy Nagasaki as much as I did, but it was awesome. We stayed there for three nights, but definitely could have spent more time there. In this video, we're sampling five iconic dishes in Nagasaki. We will be trying savory pork steam buns, a beautiful peach flower cake, and a Portuguese influenced pound cake, and a very unique so, style of Japanese ramen and udon noodles. It is our first sunny day. Today, the idea is we're gonna go wander a little bit around Nagasaki and try to get some of the local food. Okay. We have a list of foods we wanna try in Nagasaki today that are specific to Nagasaki. We stopped off at a pretty standard cafe shop, a coffee shop called Pronto. Get our hot coffee of the day. I will say one thing about Japan is that you don't have the cafe culture like you have in Korea for sure. And we yeah. do love coffee. <laughs> so yeah. it's been hard. We've been drinking a lot of the convenience store coffees, mm -hmm. or uh, which are good too. But it's nice to have a nice hot cup of coffee. Too. Four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock? What time is it? Time to get a new fence. <laughs> Oh, you happen to not hear me, but I have the exact right answer? Yeah, oh. of course. Oh. <laughs> First on our food tour was the Castella cake. This was very similar to a pound cake that we eat at home in Canada. This sponge cake was introduced by Portuguese merchants in the 16th century. Castella cake has become very popular in Nagasaki. All right, here's the first food on the list, which is, what is it called again? Castella cake. <laughs> I think this might be a special version of jam or something on it. But... All right, Jeannie, you gonna have some? Yeah. And Martin, you gonna have some? Mm-hmm. See what it's like. Yeah. yeah. Is it really good? Mm-hmm. Solid. Nothing okay. right home about it. It's exactly what you expect it to be. Very yeah. soft, very nice, mild. It's like spongy. Like a pancake. Pancake might be a little heavier. Yeah, it's really nice. It's nice. It's really lovely. It'd be great with a cup of tea. Mm, yeah, he said it'd be good with a cup of tea. It's good. I like it. We found this lovely family-owned restaurant serving both the Sarah Udon and the Champon Ramen. So we just came out of this little restaurant that Dominic had picked up, uh, picked out online, and it said that it had an English menu, and she also had like little like kids plates with spoons and forks, which is really convenient for the kids. Yeah. Because whenever you, like sometimes they're trying to eat with like a giant spoon. I should be carrying cutlery with, around with me, but anyway. Very convenient with the kids. And we tried the Sara Udon and the Champon Ramen Noodles, which are both from Nagasaki. Yeah. yeah. It was awesome. We ordered some fried rice as a buffer just in case the kids wouldn't eat the other stuff because I thought they'd see the octopus and think, oh no, I can't eat that. But they were sucking back the octopus and the mussels and the shrimp and the squid rings and the fish cakes. Yeah. Uh, they loved it. Everybody loved this. All right, now you gotta explain the nanny again. Tell nanny what it is. It's an octopus uh -huh. and it's spiky. It's got, yeah, you have the suction cups. Yep. Wait, maybe it gives me suction cup power. Maybe. <laughs> See if you okay. like it. Yep. <laughs> Last time I tried it, it was very juicy. Mmm, mm, that's good. Mm. <laughs> It was so good. There was like, there was like and fried cabbage and seafood. Yep. It was really different from like a uh, standard Japanese ramen that we've gotten in other places. And the fried rice was really above average too. That was like super good rock, like Very just good. as good as the other stuff was. It yeah. was delicious. It was, it was absolutely delicious. That's, and the place um, didn't seem touristy at all. No. It, even though it did have an English menu, but it was like, there's a tourist area near it. This was kind of outside the tourist area in like a back alley. That, uh, and it seemed to be filled with locals and stuff, so I mm -hmm. thought it was really good. It was. And it, it was 2,600 yen, which I think right now is around 24, 25 dollars Canadian mm -hmm. for all of us to eat till you know we're stuffed and delicious. Yeah, coming food with ingredients like shrimp and octopus and mussels and stuff like. Yeah. You like the shrimp, honey? You guys are gonna be in heaven when you go back to Newfoundland this summer. I don't know where the shrimp. I don't think there are any more shrimpies, honey. Okay, you got the them all. Oh, I 
That's so good. Pretty good value, I'm, it feels like. I'm really impressed with like the prices of the restaurants here so far, especially in these touristy areas that we're yeah. in as tourists. Um, but like uh, in Canada, things are, you know, they're outrageous, can't even compare. But in Korea, I've found that the prices are a bit cheaper here than we're living in kind of a touristy place in Korea yeah. as well. But yeah, I'm really impressed with the prices and it was really, really delicious. Super happy. We actually had the pork steam bun a day earlier, but we tried it again. We actually had it, I think, three or four times in our few days in Nagasaki. It was really tasty, and they sell them all over uh, for about $5 a pop. They are fluffy buns filled with pork and seasoned with a savory sweet sauce. It is a perfect blend of soft dough and flavorful meat. It was such a great snack. Like I said, we had it a few times while we were out and about in Nagasaki. It was tasty, kid-friendly, and a treat that we could have on the go. It looks so good. Good? Eat so carefully, do not drop it. It's right. <laughs> like it. Yes. Last but not least, we have the peach flower cake, also known as the Momohana cake. It was inspired by the peach blossoms that bloom in Nagasaki during the spring, and it is a delicate dessert that has layers of sponge cake, whipped cream, fresh peaches, all adorned with a peach blossom design. It's light, fruity flavor, and it has such a beautiful presentation. It was the perfect final snack in our Nagasaki culinary adventure. <clears throat> sure is sweet. Mm -hmm. The cake was really tasty. It was the, the Costella sponge cake. Um, and then the, the icing, the white icing was really sweet, um, which is good. It's kind of sticky, tasty. And then the like, you know, it had like leaves and stuff on it. I think they were made out of um, almost like a red bean paste is what they tasted like, but they were good. So it was a nice treat. So, so far we've tried the Castillo cake, the Sarah so Udon. We had, what was it? we had everything. We had the, the bun. We didn't try the- Oh, right. The, the Doncaster Don with, the spaghetti. with the spaghetti, which we I may or may not, not try. Gonna, I don't think I'm going to go for that one. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, but so far we really enjoyed eating in Nagasaki, and I, I love like wandering around too. There's like it seems like it would be kind of on the go and late at night, mm -hmm. and lots of stuff to do, shopping, places to wander around. Really impressed so far with Nagasaki. The kids seemed to really enjoy it. It was really interesting. Learned a lot of uh, cool stuff. Yeah, it was yeah, fun. it's really cool. You often hear about this kind of thing, like. I don't know. I've heard about this many times over the years. Yeah. How the Dutch were the only ones allowed in Japan for a while, so it's cool to be here and see the actual place that they were and yeah. learn more about why they were here and what they got out of it. And 